Uh, my name is Jason Kerr. I'm a technologist for uh, an ecosystem management program. I'm an ecosystem management graduate from 2011. Um, today we are planting uh, Miyawaki forest, Miyawaki style forest. Um, it's a technique that's used for afforestation um, purposes. And so when we think about reintroducing trees onto the landscape, um, you could do reforestation or you could do afforestation. And so reforestation is when you have uh, trees that are already planted and you've cut them down, you plant new trees in their place. Afforestation occurs where you're taking areas where there aren't trees and you're reintroducing trees into those areas. And so the Miyawaki method was uh, invented by a botanist in Japan. Um, and what he was attempting to do was to grow forests quicker. And so the idea is that in traditional afforestation techniques, it could take 100 plus years to reach uh, full maturity for some of these forests um, as it goes to the different stages of succession. And what he proposed was if you plant all the different um, stages of succession all at once, really, really densely, you force those trees to compete and through competition, they grow faster and you can reach a stratified forest in a fraction of the time. And we've seen this method be, uh, used really, really um, a lot in Southeast Asia, in Australia, in India, it's into Europe now. And recently in Ontario, there's a lot of municipalities are using this method to reach some biodiversity targets, to address uh, urban heat island effect, provide areas for recreation, uh, and things like that. And so what we're trying to do is not only um, green our own campus and bring trees to campus, but also see how this method actually performs in Ontario. Um, because these trees are so densely planted, um, we would expect that some of these trees are going to outcompete others and they're going to self thin. Um, and so what we're interested in figuring out is which trees are best suited for this method, which trees outcompete you. Um, the other step that we're doing is in this plot here, we um, have some species at risk in Ontario. Um, so we have things like Kentucky coffee tree and blue ash, um, and these uh, pawpaw as well. These species are at risk because of habitat loss and they're traditionally found in sort of like, uh, southwestern Ontario, Ontario Indian zone. And so what we're interested in too is, is there sort of a restoration um, um, goal that can be achieved with this, with this method as well? If these species at risk perform really well uh, in this method, is it a way to reintroduce these species back onto the landscape in a really meaningful way and help achieve some recovery targets and things like that? And so what we've done, we've got three different planting treatments. We've got um, four stems per meter squared, five stems per meter squared, and then six. And we're just trying to see who does well. And so we've got 31 different species in here, uh, mostly trees, but we do have a couple shrub species. Um, and they all represent different layers of the forest. So I would encourage you to come and check it out, our Miyawaki forest, and see how it performs over the next few years.